Hi YouTube, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing another Borium Emporium. Last one of the year, probably. There's like three days left, so yes, it's definitely the last one of the year. Uh, it's it's just going to be me. I've got some Christmas presents that I got bought for me, which I'm very appreciative of. But uh, we've got some Sonic toys, some favorite characters, and we've got we've got I think four four packs of pokemon cards so it's going to be a shorter one if i were to guess maybe about 20 minutes or so but uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna have fun with it anyway um but yeah as always like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video i appreciate it very much i'll see you in the opening ciao for now back in the video right let's start off with we've got sonic toys to open first they're going to be the first thing that we do We've, uh, is this a bit much? Is this music a bit over the top, maybe? Who knows? Turn it down a little bit more. That might make it a bit better. Um, we're starting off with, I'll show it on this cam here. We've got Chaos from Sonic the Hedgehog. Why is that not playing anymore? What happened there? Okay. Uh, this is the first boss that you fight in Sonic Adventure 1. And these are made by Jax Pacific, I think. They are. <clears throat> I don't know any other Jax that sort of delve within toys. Um, I don't know what to put this category as. Unboxing? I feel like unboxing is a game. I'll just go just chatting. That's fine. Whatever it is. Who knows? It is what it is. Yeah, this is uh, this is Chaos or Chows, if you're dumb, uh, from Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic Adventure specifically, but also appeared in like Sonic X, the, uh, I, I refuse to call it an anime, the cartoon. Which uh, I remember enjoying. I was still a bit younger when that came out, but uh, it seemed fine. I know a lot of people didn't like the human character in it, which I, I can understand. But uh, we all know that uh, the Chaos 1 form is the best form of Chaos, right? Th there are some other forms that I do actually like a lot, but I think Chaos 1 is arguably the best. I like... Oh, Chaos 0, sorry, this is... I like Chaos 1 a lot because of the big arm. So it reminds me of, like, the Charger from Left 4 Dead. Or the Charger reminded me of Chaos when that came out. But uh, yeah, yeah, the base form is still sort of the best. Perfect form is pretty cool though. Perfect Chaos. Chaos 7. And he comes with the Master Emerald. If we can get it out of the packaging, that'd be nice. <coughs> oh, we can. Oh, does so it come with like a... It should come with like a little stand or something. I don't know. It's got a little, like, hole thing in the bottom there, but I don't see anything it can sort of go on. Weird. But yeah, we've got a, we've got a little glass Master Emerald. That's nice. Can that stand up? It can. Look at that. Beautiful. Doesn't stand up well, actually. It tries. And then in here, we've got, we've got these little, oh. We've got you know those little plastic tags you get on clothing that you can only like remove by ripping them off uh, we have them they're not like tie wraps not tie wraps they're not like the uh, the little twisty things that you usually get on this stuff god damn it I did not think this through I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. Absolutely gonna get them in my eye at some point here. Yeah. Oh, we got one around the hand as well. Are you kidding me? Just one hand.
Right, I think that should be good. Oh, he feels very smooth. Oh, he's incredibly smooth. I've knocked over the Master Emerald. I, I can't describe how this sort of feels. Like, he, he doesn't feel like plastic. He almost feels rubbery in a way. Slightly. But he's got, he's got joints. You can move him, position him a little bit. I think his legs do as well. Oh, only the knees, kind of. But yeah, it's pretty good. He's uh, He looks lighter on camera than he is in real life. But uh, yes, very, very cool. Like I say, Chaos is probably one of my favorite villains from, uh, from Sonic in general. I like him a lot. He's good. And then <laughs> we've, uh, we've got the main guy next. We've got... Not, there's no the cat on the end here. It's just big. Just big. No, the cat. We all know who he is. Hey, big guy. Hey, little guy. Can you tell me who came first? We've got no thingies holding him in here. But he does come with two rings. I had two rings that come with like a chow once. And they are also somewhere. I don't actually know where the chow is. Might be in my little box with like my Christmas themed Pokemon. So chunky. So incredibly chunky. There. <laughs> He's huge. <laughs> huge the cat. My account's not being used in another location. What are you chatting about, YouTube? Oh boy. I mean. <laughs> I slightly devastated he doesn't come with the fishing rod. But his tail's got movement. You can... I don't know where it is IRL. I don't remember him wearing sandals. That's upsetting on a whole new level. Uh, he's still cracked out of his mind. You can see by the eyes. And he's got giant ass human humanoid grippers. And he's got a load of text on his back, which are uh, accurate to the game. <laughs> he's, he's actually, he's got a printed tramp stamp on him. Made in China. <laughs> yeah, no fishing rod, but uh, he, he has got rings. Can he hold the rings? No, not well. That would almost make too much sense, I guess. Can we can we make him hold the master emerald? No, no, he's too swole for that, I think. Oh, actually. Kind of. He can. He can hold the master emerald. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? But yeah, they're the uh, they're the Sonic toys that we got for Christmas. Like to say, oh, microphone's going in shot. Hello. <clears throat> We'll, uh, I don't want to put them off screen, but I feel like I've got no choice but to, because I need space for Pokemon cards. That's fine. We'll have the rings in there. It's all good. It's all good. But yeah, we've got, uh, we've got four packs of Pokemon cards. I'm pretty sure. I will double check. I think it's four. I do believe it is four, and it's some of the newer packs as well. We've got, uh, I'll show it off on the main cam first. We've got Paldea Evolved. We've got a Tink Tink. A Tink Tink set. 
We've got... Three of those. I don't actually know what's in this set. I've sort of fell off with Pokemon cards a little bit. And we got another Scarlet and Violet. Paradox Rift. Which has got... Uh, I mean, it's Salamence, but is it one of these... I, I don't know the lore of Scarlet and Violet that well. Because I couldn't play through the games. Because they were horrific in so many different ways. Is this one of the future or past mons? I'm assuming past. It doesn't look very futuristic. Is this like... What do they call them? Um, jingle Scream. Uh... Flinge Wheeler, what? <laughs> you, you know, the Paradox Pokemon? That's what they're called? So I guess we'll start with the... I'm assuming Paradox Rift is probably the newer set, so I guess we'll start with this one. I don't know the card trick. I really, really don't know the card trick for these newer sets. I'm under the assumption that we don't have to move them anymore. But you'll still get, like, the energy at the end. So maybe just one to the front. And we've got silver borders on all the cards now, which is a nice change. More like the uh, the Japanese cards. So we've got a Remoraid. We've got a Pumpkaboo. We've got a Screaming Zubat in pain. We've got a Natu. We've got a Durant. TM Turbo Energize. Sure. Uh, Wug Trio. Oh, this is the... Right, this is the, um... The Slender... Slender Diglett thing. What's it? It Wiggler and Wug Trio. Diglett and Doug Trio. Yeah, that makes sense. Got a Porygon. He's very cute. Is he? Oh, he's a Reverse Hollow. I didn't know. Then on the end, we've got another... No, it's not the end. We've got a Luxurious Cape. Another reverse hollow. You get two per pack now. And then on the end, we've got... Garganical. I've seen the little rock fellow. I'm assuming the one that looks like the Mario Mushroom. I'm assuming that evolves from this. And this is stage two. Again, not got very far in Scarlet and Violet at all. They kind of blow. But that looks kind of cool. I like him. And then we've got a basic energy on the end. So we're getting a hollow. Good start. Oh, the, the focus is really doing a number here, isn't it? Let me see if I can sort that out. Auto focus, turn that off. Is that about right? Is that a good place? I think that is. Yeah, Garganical. Hollow. Lovely. I'll put him up there. So we're going to open this pack here. Like I say, we've got three packs to open. We've got a card here. We'll have a look at the promo first. Little, little tink tink. There's Tink Tink, hollow. It's got some spectral dust on the uh, on the outside. That's pretty cool. See the little promo icon in the bottom left? Smithering Smash, 10 damage. It's a big name for a tiny move. Flip a coin if heads, discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's That seems okay. I don't know if that's, like, good in meta. It probably won't be at all, in fact. But I like, I like the little bubbles on the outside. Again, very nice card. Put Tink Tink there. And I guess we'll... Oh, I couldn't tell what that thing in the middle was. We've got two of the fully started evolved forms there. And I didn't know what that in the middle was. It looks like Sabertooth Tiger. But swords. I'm going to open this one first. I'll have to use my teeth. My fingers are extremely weak. So. Do I want the code? Is that... Okay, that's there. Okay. This feels a bit chunkier. We've got a Krogunk. 
Got a Rookedy. I like Rookedy. Got Magnemite. I like him as well. Phalanx. Ice Skew. I could never get an on with that Pokemon. I really hate when his head shrinks. Artisan. Paldean Tauros. That looks sick. But do I go back to Scarlet and Violet? <laughs> There's some really good Pokemon here. We've got Reverse Hollow Snova. We've got Ar Arctibax. He's fine, I guess. He looks a bit generic. And on the end... Oh, Baxcalibur. So that's who he evolves into. Is this the... Oh, I don't want to assume, but is this the legendary... The pseudo-legendary of Scarlet Violet? So it's got three... It's got basic, stage one and stage two. It looks like a dragon. Kind of underwhelming. I suppose it's still better than Dragonite, isn't it? And then on the end, we've got Grass Energy. That's fine. I, I kind of dig him, but... I don't know. I'd have to see him in-game. He looks kind of sick, though. He looks kind of sick. Put that away. All right, second pack from this little this little blister pack. Got a great ball. We've got a Hopip. We've got Makuhita, who's enjoying the uh, the night sky. We've got Pincurchin. We've got Persimian. Got Reversal Energy. Therapeutic Energy. Got a Reverse Holo Pseudo Wudo. We like Pseudo Wudo. He's always cool. We've got Char Cadet. That's the they're the Pokemon that evolve into like knights. Which are very cool. I kind of like them a lot. The Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet, I've really I've not had an issue with. It's just the game itself that absolutely blows. Which is a shame. And on the end, we've got a hollow Oricorio. Not a Pokemon I really care much about at all. I don't know if it's good in game. Uh, I think it come in in Sun Moon, if memory serves. Oh, it was either... Oh, it must have been Sun and Moon, right? I'm not I'm not showing my Pokemon knowledge well. But yeah, I I never really I never really cared about it. It's like the flamenco dancing one, right? Oh did it it didn't come in Scarlet and Violet, did it? Am I actually an idiot? This isn't a new Pokemon, it's been around ages. But Flamenco, Spain. Spanish inspired Scarlet and Violet. Who knows? And we've got a basic dark energy on the end. Let's uh let's hope I've not just embarrassed myself with Pokemon knowledge. It is it is what it is. <laughs> and we got one more pack. I don't think we're gonna have many heavy hits. I don't want this to be like the first thing I mentioned, but has Slackoth always had like a <laughs> a, a chode? What is that? Has that always been there? Oh, I really hate that artwork either way. Oh, not a fan. We've got Slackoth. Get him off the screen. I don't want to see his face. Paldean Wooper. Goated Pokemon. Big fan. Uh, Pikachu, obviously, mascot Pokemon. It's it's pretty good. We like Pikachu. He's all right. Qfant, Sword and Shield Mon. I... I like Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield were fine games. Corvus Squire, pretty good. I like I like that line. Azumarill. 
Got a Vespiquen or Pokemon that I've never really used, but everyone always says good things about. Or people just talk about it because it's got like a really hard shiny to get. And Tropius, it wouldn't be a Pokemon card set without the Banana Dragon, would it? It just wouldn't. I think this guy, this guy's turned up in like every Pokemon set that has ever been released. But he's back once more. We've got him as a hollow. We've got a reverse hollow Marrow. Very cute artwork. And on the end, we've got Mimikyu. Oh, we like Mimikyu. Your account's been used in another location. I can assure you, YouTube, it is not. Don't know why it's saying that to me all of a sudden. There we go. We got the boys. Pikachu and Mimikyu. And what do we get on the end? Basic Psychic Energy. You know what? That, that kind of works. I like Mimikyu a lot. I love Mimikyu, in fact. I think that's such a cool Mon design. And realistically, the um, the options are endless, right? You don't need to have him as a... I think, is it... What's the fusion game? The Pokemon fusion game? Oh, God. Let's, no, let's get this out of here. The Pokemon... Is it Infinite Fusion? Where you can have, like, the different Mimikyus fused with other Pokemon? Like, realistically, that's just a tablecloth that he's cosplaying as Pikachu. You could have so many other designs for Mimikyu. But I like that he's chosen the mascot. Because this here, that's the actual Pokemon, that bottom half. It's like a little blob. And uh, apparently it kills you if, uh, if you see its true form. Because it's so ashamed of itself or something. I don't know, man. Pokemon lore is kind of weird. Good cards. Not any massive hitters, but that's fine. We've got a Maku hitter, not a massive hitter, though. But uh, that's that's going to be Borium Emporium for today. We've got nothing else to open, unfortunately. We're uh, we're all sort of uh, all sort of done with the leftover Christmas stuff that I'd not already got round to. I could have opened chocolate, but I'm not going to do a mukbang of Cadbury Roses. But uh, yeah. That's going to be it for today. For both the recording and the stream, I appreciate you guys all very much. I'm going to sign off for now. I'm going to go make some food. And I'm going to go, go to work. It is what it is. I'll see you in the next one. All right, gamers. <laughs> all right, gamers. Uh, bye for now. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, I'm burping. What a gross way to finish it. What a... Oh. Bye.